hey everyone welcome back to my channel and of course welcome back to another plan with me video this time we are planning for the month of november and i am just showing you my supplies for the month it's just these three crayola super tips my very handy crayola super tips and this black fine liner and that's all that i'm going to be using for the theme i have chosen a self-love slash self-care theme because at the beginning of covid and at the beginning of lockdowns and everything i was really in i don't want to say a bad place because there are people who are really in a bad place but i wasn't in the be best place and um I was kind of when I had nowhere to go and nothing else to do I was kind of left with my life and whew, wow there was a lot that I was sweeping under the rug and I am you know kind of dealing with everything and lately I've been vibing with myself so much I've been feeling so much love for myself I've been very much less judgy towards myself and you know all the self-care self-love things I just have been feeling so much and so that's why I decided for that's why I decided to do this theme for November and for the quote page I wrote this quote honestly I don't even remember I think I got it from Google which says to fall in love with yourself is the first secret to happiness and I unfortunately did not check who came up with this quote or you know who said this but anyway this is the cover page I'm just adding some drop shadows on the down strokes of my lettering just to make it you know pop a little bit because it looked a little bit too plain and I didn't like how it looked so I added some drop shadows with the fine liner and the next spread that I have is excuse my voice <sighs> I'm feeling a little bit unwell-ish. I mean, I'm not sick or anything, but just my voice is just acting up and decided to change. But anyway, for the calendar, I know I have said this in the past and I'm still saying it now. I never really use this calendar at all, but I just felt like doing it this month, even though I'm not going to use it. I do like the visual, you know, aspect of it it looks really cool it looks nice and of course i could have done a smaller one because you know i don't really use it i don't write anything on it but i just wanted to do this one because i wanted to do it and then yeah on the other side oh wait i added these little hearts which are going to be where i write the numbers of the days and i kind of alternated the three colors and these colors are like one is red and one is almost like maroonish ish kind of and one is a really dark pink that's almost like purple and so those are the three markers that I've used throughout the spread and here on the right side of the spread I did a little section for my goals and things I want to focus on this month and also a little space for you know writing what content I'm going to be publishing this month on my blog and on YouTube and I know I did this last month and I never did post any videos on YouTube but you know I have been taking care of me I know that I promised you guys that I would you know uh, post some videos but I've been taking care of me and we are now on my next spread which is my mood and energy tracker energy I have you know I only started a couple of months ago um, tracking the energy levels throughout the day I mean I can't track it throughout the day because you can't feel the same amount of energy throughout the day but I have been kind of tracking the average and I've been doing it with my period tracker but then I decided to do it with my mood tracker because mood and energy kind of you know go hand in hand I guess 
and on the other side I did my habit tracker but for this month I've been having five habits for the past I think three or four months but I've haven't been keeping up with them as much as I wanted to so I wanted to make it a little easier on myself and you know so that I can really dial in and work on the very important habits and then I could add some more habits later and the habits that I'm tracking are waking up by 7 a.m. and being in bed by 11 p.m. and also water um, need to drink lots of water and also exercise even though I don't really exercise every day I really would like to exercise more often than not and the next one that we have here is my self-care days spread which is not even like a self-care days day. it's really just the days the way I'm going to be on my period I recently decided that I wanted my period days to be days where I take care of myself and really go all in with my self-care of course I take care of myself every day in little ways but those days I want them to be days where I really go in and really really check in with myself and you know see that I'm okay you know because yeah I do not want to not be okay the beginning of COVID really showed me how much I have been neglecting myself and of course I threw in a little bit of a quote and made a mistake and luckily I had my tipex wide out thing so I fixed it very quickly but the quote says to take care of oneself is not selfish it's necessary and I'm so much in agreement with this quote because when I don't take care of myself I realize that even the people around me I'm really not showing up for them as much as I want to but when I do take care of myself you know I show up I really do like give them the best of me when I have to give them the best of me and next we have my first weekly spread I mentioned last month that I have decided to make weekly spreads for the whole month I don't know how long this will last maybe I'll change my mind later but weekly spreads usually take like five to ten minutes for me so it makes no sense to like carve out five to ten minutes on a Sunday just to do planning and then I'm kind of just left with nothing else to do which is I don't know I don't want to do that maybe I will want to do it in the future I don't know but for this weekly I decided to go for this vertical layout which I don't really like as much because I'm I don't have much space to write like towards the right but you know I just like how it looked when I sketched it out so we're going with it and a little mini quote there on the bottom that says love thyself and a little mini quote again at the top which says love is in the air I'm telling you guys I'm vibing with myself so much that I needed all these quotes like I, I just couldn't pick one so I had to incorporate all of them throughout the spreads my second weekly spread is actually my favorite weekly spread because it gives me enough space to plan like it I have enough vertical and horizontal space for all my planning and I don't have to stress about making my handwritings really tiny or anything like that I just write in my normal handwriting and everything works out which is why this is my favorite favorite spread so here I'm just like drawing some hearts and some wreaths and you'll see that this wreath kind of vibes is what is you know incorporated throughout the whole um, spread or throughout the whole setup and this is the one thing that I just kept on drawing and of course 
like i said quotes throughout the month and this one says you can't pour from an empty cup which reiterates what i was just saying that when i take care of myself i am able to take much better care of my loved ones and yeah i really like this weekly i can't I actually can't wait for the second week of november because it's just like ooh, now i'll be staring at this quote for a whole week and this is my favorite spread i mean who can ask for more and then for some little decorative elements i'm adding in some mini hearts on the wreaths and everything and for my third weekly i did this little i don't know what to call it it's not i mean it is vertical ish i mean horizontal ish you know what it's this what you see on the screen right now i have no idea what to call it but i just used the middle part of the spread for my planning and then i just did some decorative elements on the sides and i drew this kind of hanging strings with hearts and of course the wreath I could not leave that out and this is I think the second last week of November yes it's the 16th through the 22nd of November and the quote for this weekly spread says that owning our story and loving ourselves through that process is the bravest thing will ever do so i just threw in that quote and added some mini hearts and then moving on to my last monthly i mean weekly spread which is another one that i like because of the spacing and of course i decided to add the first i think the first of december is in the same week and I was just like mm, make a spread in December with one day or just add in the first of December right here maybe or did I I don't know I don't remember what I actually did here but there is something oh wait now I remember the Monday Monday the 30th is you know the only day how do I explain this if you're a bullet journal you probably understand what I mean but I just couldn't have that Monday on its own anyway here is the final flip through of my November 2020 bullet journal setup I really hope you enjoyed planning with me I am not feeling my greatest right now even though i'm really loving myself and vibing with myself my voice just you know isn't part of the team so i just you know hope that you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed listening to my voice even though i sound like a boy i'm not a boy i promise and yeah i We'll see you guys on the next video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Peaceful Dawn Official. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any future videos, any future bullet journaling videos, any future self-love, mental health, personal development videos from me. I love you guys so much and I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.